Mr. Akash Passi. Uh, he is in the wrong side of the country. He's actually a Gothenburg person otherwise, and he heads Volvo Bus International. Very welcome, Akash. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, I wanted to say, and I'm coming from the right side of Gothenburg to the wrong side of Gothenburg. <coughs> we all have different perspectives, you know. Uh, but yes, I, th I think uh, over the next few minutes, I'll take you through a short general presentation. India is a large country. We're almost 1.3 billion people. Uh, there are a lot of challenges we have, and uh, transport is uh, one of them. And a country like this needs different kind of solutions uh, for different needs. And that's what I'm going to talk about uh, here today. Uh, so we're talking about smart cities here. It's really good to see the focus from the government over the last couple of years on this area. We're looking forward to the 100 smart cities of how they will establish themselves. Uh, as I said, that these 100 cities would need different kind of uh, solutions. And uh, amongst the number of things which are required to make a system of a smart city or a concept work is smart solutions and smart transport. And that's what I'm going to focus on over the next few minutes. So if you look at uh, Volvo Group, uh, I will not go through the details. I'm, I'm sure it's fairly well known across the world. We today operate in 203 countries. But if I just say in India, we are now there for over 20 years. I have the privilege uh, when living in India earlier to be one of the first few employees to have started the Volvo story there and built up the Volvo brand. And it's with that knowledge I could share some things with you today. Today in India, over these 20 years, we are about 10,000 plus people with a turnover of 11,000 crores. And together with our joint venture partner, we do about 50,000 trucks and buses in India. And in addition to that, about 5,000 construction equipment, and then a couple of thousand industrial and marine engines equipment. So we have a vast presence in India. We are over the initial stage of setting ourselves up in the country. I think we are over and done with that. We are very much a part of India, and we are contributing into the growth and development of India. And then it's really good to see that number of other international players in the last couple of years also start to consider India an important market, because together we will grow the country into modern smart transport solutions. So if we look at the roadmap, uh, and as I said, our operations in India are spread across many fields of transport, trucks, buses, construction, industrial, and marine engines. But today, with regard to smart cities, I will keep the focus on to buses, which is about moving people from one place to another. Having said that, we come in to India with a rich history, uh, with a lot of experience across the world into developing and developed markets, and based on that, we are providing different solutions there. What are we doing on the bus side? By end of this year, we will be about uh, 16 years old on the bus uh, side. We will have about 6,000 vehicles, on both on long distance and city transport. We today touch in city buses alone 34 cities in India. And having said that, we know that there is a high development in India with the road network, with the needs in the city, and we look forward to contributing that. I'm happy to share with you that we feel very Indian with Volvo being a very strong ticket brand in the bus segment in India. So as an Indian, I can joke a little bit about here. So this is not to make fun, but this is to make a point that this is how transportation has been over the last six decades, which means that we were in India focusing on basically truck-based buses, truck chassis, about 15 years back. And that means that the, there was no really variation in how you carry people versus how you carry a load of cement or steel and so on and so forth. And that is where we as Volvo stepped in, brought in the first uh, rear engine buses, air conditioned buses, and true bus chassis concept. And that is, of course, history today, so I will not get into it. But today, we continue with our focus to be in India providing safety, comfort, and environment-friendly solutions. Uh, what is a bus? It's about, it, had, it meets different needs in different places. 80% uh, of the Indian population as a touch point, one way or the other, travels in buses. And that's where we feel that we play a big role in determining and impacting the lives of the general 
public and the upgrowing middle class of India. So bus can be long distance, bus can be city transport, bus is the best means of transport in India to connect people in terms of last mile connectivity. And that's the challenge we have in the country today. Uh, I mean, some of us here come from different parts of India. A place like Bangalore, for example, registers 1,500 vehicles every single day. And that means that the focus till now in any developing aspirational society like India has been on trucks, buses, but all, or cars, or two-wheelers, but in mass number. And that's what we really need to change. Today, our cities are congested, and we need to bring in smart solutions which are able to offset and decongest the cities as we go on. And we hope that the smart city concept will fulfill these needs as the basic KPIs are laid out of what a smart city should be. So what do we do? Uh, I think what we bring onto the road in India over our journey, first of all, through our joint venture, where we've been, uh, which has been, uh, this company has been there for over 35, 40 years. We do about 12,000 buses there, primarily medium front engine buses and now moving into uh, heavy front engine buses. So we take care of mass transport through our Aisha brand in India. When it comes to the smart city concept, it is mainly about meeting the needs of the growing middle class and driving and defining and designing cities in a good way. And that is where we offer now additionally a large number of solutions, primarily diesel based to take care of all kind of uh, volume needs in India uh, with low flow buses, with uh, uh, additional brands which uh, are a little lower in terms of uh, pricing to meet the needs of cities on BRT, bus rapid transport concepts, semi-low flow buses, and so on and so forth. And this, in Make in India in February, we had the launch of the first hybrid bus in India by the two prime ministers of India and Sweden, and that's a good step forward. So, what is going to happen in the future? We know that there are a large number of diesel buses. We know that this technology will stay. It will not go in overnight. But uh, the bus industry has started its next roadmap of journey, which is to move to sustainable transport. As Volvo, we have put in solutions over the last 10, 15 years on eight different concepts, be it gas buses uh, and so on and so forth. But we have found that the most sustainable solution worldwide in future will be electric base. And we like it or not, that is where the world is going. And therefore, I'm happy that as Volvo Group, already in 2007, we started to make large investments into this area. Today, you see that Volvo Group has over 5,000 hybrid or electric buses in different forms running across the world, primarily focused on Europe and Americas. And this journey is now moving into the developed world with us taking the first steps in different parts of the world and specifically in India, as I said, in February this year. So, what do we think we can do there? If we really look at it, uh, I think the government of India has many challenges, but it's doing a good job by offering heavy subsidies to bring in. Uh, just for you to know, China was, uh, uh, which is also from my work experience, a part of uh, my job, was only into diesel buses. So we were making about four, 5,000 diesel buses there since uh, the last 15, 20 years. Then something happened three years back. And today, we cannot sell a diesel bus into the city segment anymore. It's only electric buses. And that's the journey, a little bit late, but at the right time in India, we have started and with good support from the government. So we're looking forward to this uh, initiative in addition to meeting the large public needs through diesel and other means of uh, transport. So how are we positioning ourselves? We're putting in hybrid buses, which is just a combination of a small engine and battery, and that can run anywhere, doesn't need any electric power. Then electric hybrid is a combination of a charging station, but also primarily runs more on, less on a diesel engine, more on batteries. And then of course the solution introduced last year is complete electric bus, doing and running quite well in Gothenburg and many other places and cities as a startup with production start next year across the world. So what does this mean? How would the world look forward to? Uh, you've been seeing a lot of presentations, so I don't want to spend too much time on this slide, but this is what we feel the world would look like and very much India would look like in future. And I'm talking in a long-term horizon. So we think that the center of the city will be fully electric, where you will have zero emission buses and only electric in nature. 
On the outskirts, you will have electric hybrid with a combination where you can run buses which will run on diesel at times, but when they are in school area or in other uh, sensitive environmental areas, they will run only on electric or on batteries. And then, of course, you have the outskirts of the city where you can use either hybrid solutions or diesel bus solutions coming in. This is what the world is moving on because if we don't do that, then we have a challenge at hand. I'm just coming in from Mexico a couple of days back and there is a high alert in the city because the NOx value is beyond the point. Therefore, a large number of cars with certain registration numbers have been asked to be off-road every day. And it's, not, uh, it's just a matter of time that we are touching that kind of a challenge in India. And that is where as Volvo, with being the first manufacturer on the Western or global side to be there 20 years back, we feel very confident that we, will, we have contributed well on the normal diesel technology in the bus segment to transport people. But now with the smart city coming in, we will bring in new modern solutions, primarily on the electric side with different combinations. So looking forward to contribute to the goal. And, and some of, we have some very important guests from uh, India, from uh, uh, the Indian government, and we will partner with them in a good way to try to see what is wherever possible an affordable solution and wherever possible an island of excellence with the world-class solutions. So thank you for your time and patience for listening today. Thank you.